excited and I hope you're excited. Let me say this, if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll subscribe. If you do, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. And you guys, don't forget to comment down in the comment section, like and share this video. I'd really appreciate it. So anyway guys, today's DIY project is going to be a really cute um, faux tree that I'm gonna do. And um, I'm doing this faux tree because I was looking around and I wanted to do, a, I wanted to buy a faux tree. I actually wanted to buy a faux um, olive branch tree. And I ended up finding those olive branches and I ended up putting them in pot, you know, in vases and pots and used those around the house and I really liked them. But I still wanted to do um, a small DIY faux tree. And um, the reason I decided to do a DIY tree is because I was looking around, I either wasn't really finding what I was looking for or I was finding, you know, trees that were way over what I wanted to pay for them for the look that I was going for. So I figured, hey, I can do a DIY and I can do this and if I accomplish it, then all of my faithful subscribers could give it a try and do one for yourselves as well. So anyway, I'm gonna show you the supplies that I picked up to do this DIY project and then we're gonna get into it. I'm also gonna show you this really neat basket that I'm gonna end up putting this tree inside of and it actually is an umbrella stand that I got from Target. I ordered it from Target and I'm going to unbox that and we're gonna take a look at that. I'm gonna show you the supplies that I got for this DIY project. And you know what? I may even have a second DIY project for you before the video is over. So you guys stick with me and let's get into this video. <laughs> I purchased these birch limbs from Hobby Lobby for $15.99. They come in a group of three and I plan to use the light colored one for my faux tree. I also purchased five of these green stems to use as the branches for my tree. I love how realistic they look. I paid $12.99 each for these with 40% off. I also purchased four of these stems with soft white flowers. I paid $5.99 each for these, and again, I love how realistic these tiny white flowers look. Hi guys, I also got some um, wired jute cord that I'm going to um, see if I need to use, and then I also got some brown floral stem um, wrapping tape. So we are going to give it a go and see how it goes. Now guys, I wanna take a minute to show you, I wanna unbox the uh, piece that I got from Target to show you what the tree is gonna go in. So let me get that and I'll show you that. Goodness. Again, I ordered this from Target. Oh my goodness guys look at this it is so like I said it's supposed to be an umbrella stand and it's from the threshold collection but I am actually going to use it as the the base and the basket for my faux DIY tree and I paid this was $35 but look at the So let me gather everything together and then let's get started, all right? I'm starting by placing my stems one by one onto the birch branch and securing them with my floral wrapping tape. Thank you. 
I make sure to place them at varying heights for a more realistic look and I'll continue this until I have them all taped to my branch. And this is what it looks like so far. After I have my green stems all taped in place, I go back and add the stems with the white flowers. I make sure to place them so that there's a stem on each side of my faux tree. And I continue with this until I have them all in place. Next, I go back and make sure I use my floral wrapping tape to completely cover all of the stems that are showing. Now I'm going to paint the brown floral wrapping tape to make it blend in with the look of my birch branch and I'll continue with my painting until I have it as close to what the birch looks like as possible. Next, I add foam to my basket to hold my tree in place.
Once I have my tree in place, I stub some packing paper around it to hold it there. And now I'll begin to fluff my branches to give it that tree look. And I continue fluffing my branches until it looks uniform and I see my faux tree come to life. I also go in and add some moss to the tree trunk to make it look even more realistic. And you guys, here's the finished product. I'm so pleased with how this turned out. And I really, really like the sweater puff ottomans that are really popular right now. And I looked around and I, I found some. Target actually sells them. They're really pricey. They're upwards of 60 something dollars and I want two of them. And I could pay that for it, but I just am like, why when I can DIY? Anyway, I oh. went to Home Goods. And I actually found this beautiful sweater throw blanket. Perfect color and everything. And I paid um, $24.99 for this. And so that's $24 for two, uh, that's not Let bad. Let me show you. In my husband's um, man cave, when I did the, um, one of my videos was talking about some of my thrift finds and. And, and things that I did to make over. And I showed you my husband's man cave. And in the man cave, he had, I had purchased these two ottomans for his man cave. They are just the perfect size. They're small. They are just absolutely, I love this cowhide print on them. But my husband was actually cleaning out his man cave and getting rid of a lot of um, things. He just wanted to clean all of that out and just have it more of an open space. And I was walking through the house, still thinking about doing my DIY project and thinking that I was gonna get, you know, what I was gonna get to stuff these to make them. And I walked past, my husband had set these out um, in our family room, well, not in the family room, but in the dining room area, um, that he didn't want them anymore. And immediately I thought, oh, it's perfect for what I want. So I am going to use these. Okay guys, I start by cutting the sweater throw so I can attach the pieces to my ottomans. I'm a mess Don't know how I got here but I'm blessed Didn't know it take me past my destiny You're behind me with the rest 
I'm a mess. No more you. Once I have them cut, I use my upholstery stapler to attach the fabric to the ottoman. And after I've attached the fabric, I then go in and cut away all the excess. Gotta make space for the new you, like I'm old news in your review mirror. It must be nice. I complete this process for both ottomans, add some frayed trim to the top, and voila! I love the final outcome. You guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Instagram or my blog or on Pinterest. And you guys, don't forget, it's all the little things in life that give us the sweetest, prettiest little pleasures. We'll see you next week, guys. Bye-bye.